Disappearing handkerchief. And you're bringing the handkerchief out. Thank you. Thank you. What a lovely audience. Now, as you all know, this is a trick. It is a trick. Now, I'd like to show how it's done, you see, but I, 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 I must slow down. But I can't do that because I work very, very fast. <laughs> I, I work very, very fast. As a matter of fact, I belong to the Magic Circle. I belong to the secret six. It's so secret, I don't even know the other five. <laughs> <laughs> what was I talking about? Oh, yes. I'd like to slow down for you, you see, but I can't do it because I work very, very fast. But I tell you what I do, I'll ask the producer if he would just play it in slow motion relay, like they do on a football match. You know, so if you don't know how the trick is done, at least you know how to score a goal. <laughs> May I have slow motion relay, please? I do now, what's that? I tell him. <coughs> we'll have a little kind of a musical interlude now, like kind of a signal. It'll be a change, won't it? All right, could you bring me on the piano, please? done that before, but they held it. That's <laughs> <coughs> <coughs> it. All right, you can go now, fellas. Oh, just a minute. I'll tell you what I do. Don't go. Not yet. I'll make it, this piano disappear like I did before in slow motion, like I did the handkerchief. All right? I think you better go, fellas, otherwise I'll make you disappear as well. <laughs> All right? Slow motion, make the piano disappear again. Just slow motion replay, please.
is something dramatic for you. <laughs> I want to do a one-man theatre. There should have been a one-man or one-woman theatre, but she never turned up. Because she did want to play the part of the sailor. <laughs> so I should, uh, I should do both parts. <laughs> this side is Sally. The very shy, innocent young maiden. You've got to use your imagination. <laughs> and the other side, a sailor. Tall, <coughs> virile, incredibly handsome. <laughs> he doesn't have to use your imagination here at all. <laughs> now, I want you to picture the scene. It's a tumble down cottage in 1898. It's a very long street. <laughs> and next door in 1897 <laughs> lives this wicked squire who wants to pull down Sally's cottage. <laughs> to build a multi-story cow shed. <laughs> but help is at hand. Oh, Sally. Oh, Jack, you've come back after all these years away at sea. I might that up for a start, haven't I? <laughs> Well, you tell me you know I was doing it wrong. <laughs> Sir. <laughs> Jack. <laughs> After all these years away at sea, you'll come back to me. Oh, Jack, Jack. Is it really you, Jack? <laughs> no, my name's Fred. doesn't matter as long as you come back to me. As long as you come back to me. Sub, 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 sub. Oh, Jack. Fred. <laughs> Jack, will you hold me? Will you hold me fast? I'm holding as fast as I can. <laughs> now, what about this wicked squire? Well, he will to throw me out into the snow with my two-year-old child. Well, don't you worry, Sally. After four years away at sea, I've saved a lot of money, and I shall... <laughs> How old do you say? <laughs> two years old. What are we, four? <laughs> four? Nine, 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 four, six, six. How did it happen? <laughs> well, you wrote very passionate letters. <laughs> yes, you're quite right. I did, didn't I? <laughs> anyway. <coughs> that terrible wicked squire. He's to blame. <laughs> with his curly black hair and his little thin moustache and that hooked nose. Don't worry about the squire. Look at your little boy. You're quite right, Sally. Look at him lying there. Beautiful in his cot with his curly black hair <laughs> and that little thin moustache. <laughs> and that hooked. It reminds me of somebody. <laughs> My mother. My mother. <laughs> yes, your mother. And not only that, the squire. Sally, I'm going to leave you, Sally. Oh, no, Fred, no. Yes, I must. Fred, can't we start all over again? Well, all right, if you must. <laughs> we'll start all over again. <laughs> Jack. Jack! <laughs>
After all these years, see, you come back. Well, you know the rest of it, don't I? <laughs> Bonjour. As I say in France, good evening. Now, tonight, this duck and me are going to show you how to make a duck omelet. <laughs> right, away you go. <clears throat> That's it. Look at that lovely. See, it was worth all the rehearsals, wasn't it? I kept telling you, did I? Now, I'm going to break this duck's egg into the bowl. What are you looking at that for? What do you think happens to the eggs you lay? We've got to lay them, haven't you? I mean, what else can you do with them? <laughs> all right, all right, don't upset yourself. I'll tell you what I do. I'll do next week's recipe instead. Roast duck. <laughs> Roast D-U-C-K. <laughs> what about that? A duck that can spell. All right, now, there's nothing personal in this, but I've got my living to make, haven't I? Now, if you could be so kind, just step into that bacon tin. <laughs> just hop in. Any time you like. Just creep in there. Go ahead. Now, you can either pluck a duck or not. It all depends whether you like feathers in your gravy. <laughs> in you go, then. Th are you still thinking about it? Right, in you go. <laughs> well, while you're thinking about it, I told you I do, I repair the sauce. Orange sauce with real oranges. Because you can't have roast duck without orange sauce. <laughs> <laughs> I knew you were going to do that. See, I've got some more here, though. <laughs> Already done. See what I mean? <coughs> right, now, here we go. Now, I'll tell you what we do now. We get the, uh, the soup. Now, you add parsley, sage, and a little thyme. <laughs> That's for people who like seconds. <laughs> you like that, don't you? <laughs> right, now then, and also some wine. See, now, a lot of people like dry wine, but I prefer a wet one. <laughs> <laughs> Turps, that's good too, Turps. <laughs> right, now then. And also, you, know, you add the salt, mustard, vinegar and pepper. Salt, mustard, vinegar and pepper. <laughs> <laughs> and then you add some mushrooms. Now, I'll give you a little tip so how you can tell the difference between mushrooms and toadstools. <laughs> and the toadstools, everybody drops dead after dinner. <laughs> See, now we got the, uh, we got the soup and we got the sauce. So we put the soup on the high gas and the sauce on the low gas. <laughs> You still thinking about it? <laughs> All right. Well, I tell, I tell you, we will prepare the dessert, which is a peach surprise, because they made a pineapple. <laughs> <laughs> and you add the top of the milk. <laughs> Are you going to get in there or not? <laughs> You're probably mad now, I'll tell you that. But I can get mad, I tell you, I can get mad. And when I'm mad, I'm mad. I don't know what I'm talking about. Right? And then you add some castor sugar. <laughs> castor sugar. And then some flour. South Asian flour.
much of a ado now. We'll go, we'll go back to the main dish. Got there? Roast pork. It's not roast pork. It's roast duck. No, no, everything's ready except you. Everything is ready except you. And now, we come to the hardest part. Good. <laughs> Do you want a blindfold or not? <laughs> All right, forget it, forget it, forget it. Have a little snooze. Go on. Just have a little snooze. <laughs> Go to sleep, my baby. Close the big blue eye. When you're sweetly dreaming, <laughs> you're gonna be surprised. <laughs> What's the matter with you? I'll tell you what we do. We'll have roast chicken instead. Roast chicken. <laughs> I can't hold on. Got my finger there? <laughs> the very famous Indian rope trick. You may have seen this trick because I tell you what happens. I throw this in the air and it stands up on its own. And a boy climbs up it. <laughs> I will now make that jump from there down to there. From there down to there. It's a whole hole higher. <laughs> and then from there up to there. It's a whole hole <laughs> They're down there. <laughs> 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 Famous Indian rock No feet. His wife could eat no lean. So between the both, you see, they died of starvation.
us back to the airport. <laughs> and he said to me, would you like to share a taxi with me? I said, yes. He said, well, you take the wheels, I'll take the engine. and downstairs. It is not gone. And you think I'm nuts? <laughs> What's next? Humpty Dumpty sat on a wall. Humpty Dumpty had a great fall. All the king's horses and all the king's men said, oh, to hell with it. <laughs> the vanishing bouquet of flowers. It's not my fault, no, no. <laughs> it was all right for a long time. <laughs> Thank you.